Faulkner to escape reality. And my name is Nathan, and I uh, just want to get some important announcements out of the way. The show is 60 minutes. Um, behind you are cameras. Um, if you happen to be getting up in your seats, just you know, make sure to be careful when you're walking around them. Um, and uh, restrooms are located uh, after that door that will be on your left. And there's a glass door leading to a hallway. That's where you can find our restrooms. And one most important thing, please silence your cell phones. All right. And now I'm going to give a round of introductions for... Oh, shit. <laughs> I'm Kate. I'm Jared. <laughs> and I'm Caitlin. Uh, fuck, 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 fuck. Yeah, I'm Jared. I mean, Jared. Okay, well, where's Nico? Oh, she said she was going to be late today. Oh, have you know that? Dude. Oh, my God. I mean, you guys? You guys, you guys, you guys, you guys? I found us a sponsor. There's Nico. Hey. Did you say sponsor? Yeah. A major corporation wants to invest in us. This is great. We did it. <laughs> I don't know about this. I don't want to be some corporate shill. Oh, come on. This means bigger budget, stress-free rehearsals, better actors. Yeah. Totally. <laughs> Am I the only one who doesn't want to sell out? Come on, Jared. This could be really great for us. Uh, what's the name of the company? <laughs> Global Operations Bureau, a.k.a. Gob. <laughs> What's the catch? Well, all we gotta do is sign this contract. All right. Yeah. Wait a minute, wait. wait, wait, wait. Don't get that book. Uh, read this hey. thing first. <laughs> Christ. Sign the contract, Jared. Don't yeah, rush me. It. Just Jared, sign, sign the contract. It. Don't leave me alone. Contract. Sign the contract. Sign it. Get it. Yeah. Get it. No. Get it. Get it. Get it. Get it. Get it. Get it. <laughs> Look, we're running out of time. We need to get this got <laughs> The contract clearly states we can no longer say the word God. We have to substitute it with the word gob. <laughs> oh my. Gob! Okay, let's get this show on the road. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wait! Where are you going? We need to get to places! Places, you pieces of shit! <laughs> Alright, we are going to get the show started very soon. I really appreciate your patience in the meantime. But we're enjoying all the food we brought, the pizza, and the popcorn, and the beer. And the oh. Announce the next commercial for God! Oh. And now an announcement from our corporate sponsor. Sorry, state of your disgusting body. Hey! <laughs> You've tried diets. Well, yeah. You eat right, but you don't get enough exercise, do you? I don't know. It's just that I'm embarrassed to be seen exercising in public. A common concern among your kind. Hey, what's that supposed to mean? But lucky you, inhabitant of the future, your ship has come in, and it's full to the brim with a revolutionary new running shroud. Now you can run in the privacy of your own shroud! Woo! Yeah. Oh, I can run faster and longer than ever before! That's because the running shroud is made from the world's most aerodynamic fabric known to this dimension! I've got so much more confidence now, I even asked out my secret crush! Um, why am I glowing? That would be the uranium. But don't worry, running shroud! Don't forget to purchase our other amazing privacy shrouds, the reading shroud, the eating shroud, the working shroud, and the sleeping shroud. <laughs> Uh, there, man. 
Uh, the contract says you got to sell shots. So, <laughs> sorry, shots. You know, I thought this was just some like show, but they're actually making me sell this stupid shroud. Some apparently, contract, dude. Uh, you, sir. <laughs> what? Can I interest you in a running shroud tonight? Sure. Yeah. Excellent. You look like you could use it. Uh, oh, no, I'm... <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, I, I don't know. Oh. I... Right. No, no, just... What? Hey! No! Give me! No! Oh. No! No, I'm not leaving you! 
be a father to them, or I cannot. Oh, Steve. Now go, and it'll come back soon. Oh, remember that thing I had to tell you about earlier? What are you talking about? It's just that, huh, I'm already the father of your children. What? Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I've been sleeping with Amanda for a long time, man. Yeah, I'm really sorry. It's just that, well, she just kept getting pregnant, and, and well, you were so happy to have children. I just couldn't let you die without knowing the truth. My legs! <laughs> really hurts, doesn't it? Yes! Good, because they're very best. <laughs> Come on, man, I said it was sorry. Sorry? Sorry? I guess I forgive you for fucking my wife and siring all of my children. I didn't mean for it to go so far. I have 600 children. They can't all be yours. Well, I guess I can't prove it, but at least 482 are mine. The rest, eh, who knows? Are you implying I've never slept with my wife? Well, not exactly. God, I really thought that thing would be back by now. <laughs> oh, okay, it's just that she said there were some size issues. Oh, God. Well, you know, something about it not being long enough. <laughs> But you couldn't fit in the right place, and, well, how you could just, you know, seize up for a moment and finish in her lap. Please just stop talking. <laughs> oh, hey, man, you asked. I'm just telling you what Amanda said. Please, please, just take me now. Finish oh. what you started. Oh, hey, man, don't be like that. We got to stay positive. <laughs> my whole marriage was like oh. all of my beautiful children. You know, I'm really sorry. It's just that she was such a whore. <laughs> You're gonna find somebody way better. No, I won't. Oh, right, now you won't. <laughs> just leave me alone. Let me die in peace. I totally would, man, but three broken legs here. <laughs> I'm not exactly going anywhere. But hey, maybe we can, like, play a game or something. No, thank you. We could sing a song. No, just leave me alone. We could kill each other. What? <laughs> yeah. I don't know about you, but I'm in a lot of pain right now. And there's no feasible way we're getting out of this. So we could just sit here in pain until we starve to death or that thing comes back. Or we could kill each other. Carl, we can't kill each other. Oh, sure we could. I'm pretty sure I could inch my way over there. We just, you know, put our hands around each other's necks and squeeze until we both die. That's insane. That will never work. Well, do you got a better idea? I could just kill you for sleeping with my wife. Well, yeah, that works for me too. I'm all about dying right now. <laughs> Problem is, that leaves nobody to kill you. <laughs> uh, before you do it, one more thing. What? Dude, Amanda's your sister. <laughs> Greetings. We at Gob would like to publicly apologize for our product, the Pussy Magnet. <laughs> Almost instantly after announcing the product ten minutes ago, we were hit with a tidal wave of vicious emails and phone calls. Our marketing team of deeply religious middle-aged Beatrix Potter fans were unaware of the sexual nature of the term pussy magnet. This product in no way increases your chances of attracting vaginas. It is only meant to decrease the amount of time spent looking for pussies, which we now realize should always be referred to as cats to avoid confusion. <laughs> While this honest mistake made it through the 20 levels of approval required of all gob products, we promise something like this will never happen again. We hope this has not ruined the show or your trust in gob products. Stay tuned for our next exciting invention, the Cock Gobbler, the world's first rooster turkey hybrid. Thank you and enjoy the remainder of the program. <laughs>
dread sin, you meaningless question. I'll have a meatball sub on the double. That idiot office assistant can't get anything right. Sure, that'll be 80 bucks. What? That's ridiculous. They're not paying that. Suit yourself, buddy. I never. Sandwiches. Get your sandwiches. The finest sandwich this side of the sidewalk. Psst. Hey, man. What kind of sandwiches you got, man? I got black market ham on caraway rice. Yeah, I can dig that. I'll get like 500 grand. You got it. Yeah. Crazy. Yes, hi, hello. I would like a refund. I bought a waffle from you the other day and it was soggy and had a bite out of one. Sorry, kid, you got the wrong guy. I don't sell waffles. Right. Listen, you can't fool me. I know I got a waffle from Look, you. I ain't fooling. I don't sell waffles. Oh. I sell watches. Watches. Watches! Get your watches! Cap down the seconds to the end of your miserable yeah, no, I'll take that. Consider it my refund. Whatever. Wow, my own watch. That's my watch! Oh. Unhand that watch! Thief! Constable! Thief! Oh, you're crazy! I got this very square! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> running shrouds! Get your running shrouds! The only shroud that lets you run in the privacy of your own shroud. <laughs> hey man, that sandwich you sold me was not strong enough. <laughs> Are you trying to pull the wool over my eyes or something? Cause if you are, you got another thing coming. Do not cross Johnny Jukebox! <laughs> Look man, I... I... Hey, I'll the pitch man What? Oh, get out of my way, you dirty beat uh, Let me see that. <laughs> it's a hammergram from my long estranged brother. He says the sandwich worked. He just needed to wait for it to kick in. And he says the family wants me to come home. They finally passed recreational sandwiches. And they need me to help with the dough operation. Praise God. <coughs> Mama, I'm coming home. One way ticket home. Get your one way ticket home. Put an end to your monotonous existence with a different monotonous existence. Hey, uh, what kind of one way tickets home you got? Woo! <laughs> Woo. And now. And now a message from God. Hmm. Everybody knows that if you use plastic straws, you're an asshole. <laughs> Not that pollutes our earth more than this elongated circle you use to drink things that are probably bad for you anyways. Pretty much straws is worse than putting in your mouth than Satan's cock. <laughs> no. But God doesn't give a shit about that. Introducing the spit wad straw. It's the only straw designed specifically for shooting spit wads. It guarantees to be more durable and more accurate than all those other shitty straws combined. How does Gob do it? Gob only uses plastic from virgin forest trees. <laughs> These trees are so virgin, they haven't even done oral yet. <laughs> These straws are one-time use, non-recyclable, it's certainly not, it's certainly toxic to all forms of life. These, uh, but God doesn't give a fuck about any of that. <laughs> certainly not God's stockholders either, if they want that dividend. Get your spit wad straw at any corporate retailer today that loves profits. <laughs> Zolly. Good morning, David. Morning, Mom. Oh, I see you got a head start on your studies today. Yeah, just taking my SAT algebra practice test uh, before class. Oh, I am a so proud of you, sweetie.
<laughs> Mom? No, it's Jimmy Hay. I always sit behind your first period. Fat breath. <laughs> Morning, David. Morning. Ugh. McAllister! 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 I'm here, Dad. Why are you calling me Dad? I'm so I'm not your father. I'm your 12th grade algebra teacher. I'm sorry, Mr. Figglemeister. <laughs> Quit it, Mom. I mean, Jimmy Hayde. Yeah. What in God's name is going on over here? <laughs> Jimmy Hayde keeps shooting spittles at me. Hey! Nobody likes the singing canary. Will you two please stop? I can't study. Perhaps I should send you to the principal's office. Why me? I have no patience for back talk, young man. <laughs> David McAllister. <laughs> Causing a ruckus in Mr. Figgermeister's class, are ye? It's all just some misunderstanding, Mom. I mean, <laughs> Mrs. Jolly Horse. <laughs> That's Principal Jolly Horse to you! I am sentencing you to 12 weeks of detention! Nobody likes a court jester! <clears throat> you can get out of my office now! Get out! Out, 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 out! Shoot, shoot, shoot! Hey, dude. You skipping class, too? No. <laughs> I was just in the principal's office, Dan. I mean, I mean... Actually, what's your name again? Dude, it's Jesse! Hey, you wanna go get high on some PCP? <laughs> <laughs> no thanks, Jesse. <laughs> you just passed the peer pressure test! Your mom and dad will be so proud! <laughs> High five! <laughs> mom? No, it's Jimmy Hank, you fucking loser! <laughs> 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 You're not respecting me! David, we're your parents! <clears throat> Why don't you start acting like my parents? Instead of doing your stupid characters! We've gone over this, David. Not everything you need to learn is in a textbook. Mm -hmm. High school is a very crucial part of your social development, and we just want to give you the best experience. <laughs> Haven't you given me enough of an experience? I, I'm about to graduate. He has a point, Peter. <laughs> All right. We'll stop doing the characters and give you the space that you need to focus. <laughs> yes. So, uh, Sharona, you want to go to the prom with me? I'd love to, Jimmy. <laughs> <laughs> My name's Philip. These dickheads actually uh, signed the contract on my behalf. So, um, without further ado, just a little gold. Uh, <laughs> um, hey, you guys look like you could use a shroud. <laughs> Lying. Are you always forgetting? So you're writing down everything. Remembering's too hard, get your own cue card. 
Are you tired of being a shitty actor who never remembers their lives? <laughs> Had enough of embarrassing yourself, your castmates, and your director? With awkward pauses and half-assed ad-libs? Try cue cards, the new product from God. Now you can cut out all the pesky preparation and memorization and meet your audience head-on without looking like you're winging it. No need to worry, just read the cards. <laughs> I am an asshole. He is the <laughs> Praise God! Praise, Praise God! God. Oh, Praise God. God! I enjoy feces! <laughs> For a good time, call Philip and Nasser, 971-521-6969. <laughs> so if you want to fuck Philip and Nasser, <laughs> Did she perform oral sex before she was murdered? No, 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 Jeffrey's a necrophiliac. The <laughs> <laughs> name Jeffrey means so many things. Sorry, eyes and angels weep. She's singing again. What do you think, Isabel? Well, I think my heart knows what to do. Jeffrey is the man of my dreams come true. Are you saying you think he's innocent? <laughs> I just don't get it. But there's so much evidence stacked up against him. What, what do you think would prove his innocence? His innocence is proven by his shoulders and hips, legs and arms and cardiacs and luscious lips. No. <laughs> <laughs> Another psycho. <laughs> For the mutilation of a corpse, the jury finds the defendant, Jeffrey Bundy, guilty! <laughs>
<laughs> How many minutes would it take to get to that little tidbit? None, I used Sizer! What? I used Sizer! What? I Sizer! Used... The new dating app from Bob! Maker of such great apps as Asmath, Copgrade, and STD Tech! This is a private conversation. Uh -huh. That's private. Uh, a term soon to be outdated thanks to Sizer, the world's first app with the technology to measure a man's true worth through his hands. Yeah, like I was just telling her that, so get that. <laughs> if you've been using Sizer's patented arousal meter, you know I bet already. Oh, God. <laughs> get through! In fact, with Bob's groundbreaking te X-ray technology, Sizer can even detect and identify artificial stuffing. <laughs> <laughs> it's a zucchini! <laughs> oh my god, how many guys are walking around with vegetables in their pants? According to our research, 7.3%! <laughs> this is all too invasive for me, I think I'll just try my luck. What's up? Well, all that time wasted on potentially small penises. Some people refuse to adapt. Mm -hmm. So, can I buy you a drink? Where's the girl? Oh, this is 
Fancy Pants, and I am her mother. <laughs> a cat. That would explain the name. <laughs> no, I don't leave this. I'm in nightmare again. Get out of my dream! No! Please, please, Dr. Mia, we, we'll do anything, but you know it's hard work. Ah, I'm telling you, the cat is dead! A She's cat cannot... A cat cannot weigh 600 pounds! She's totally... This is great. Fine. I show you. Right <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. I think this is the fattest cat in the history. I don't know a lot about cats since I'm not vegetarian, but... I'm pretty sure average weight for kitty is like 10 pounds. You have an aspirin? I, I don't know if I'm a nightmare, but whatever. So you think I can help you? What do you want? We want the surgery, doctor. Yeah. Fancy pants. She used to be a beauty queen. I mean, she's so beautiful. I'm just sweet. Yeah. But they won't let her at her no more. Yeah. They say it's because the stage won't hold her, but I know they're just tired of losing. Yeah. No, I, I, I can't do surgery yet. How do you mean yeah. you can't do the surgery? You're supposed to be some kind of miracle worker. No, I'm not miracle worker. Your cat weighs 590 pounds. Well, Fancy pet needs to lose weight before she can... But doctor, she only eats healthy food. Yeah. Oh, really? Uh-huh. So, what is no, no, this? No, no, no. Hmm? No, that's just because she's nervous about hospitals. No, no excuses. I give you instruction, she loses the weight, and you come back in one month. I take no doubt from pigments of my imagination. <laughs> Looks like we got our work cut out for us. Yeah. Might as well finish this. Shit! 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 Oh, heavens, I'm so nervous. I'm so excited to see what we've lost. Yeah! Yeah, you did such a good job. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, I thought I got out of history. Hi, Doctor! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you gained 20 pounds! What? what? That's impossible! She's been eating like you said! Uh -huh. Oh, really? So, what is this? Oh, I'm pretty sure it came with the bed. You know, God, you're wasting my time! I will take this. No, no! No! Back to me! No! No! Back, back to me! <laughs> Now you follow my direction and come back in one month, or you do not come back! <laughs> That's right, baby. One more! One more! Oh, you've been doing such a great job! <laughs> Oh, it's like that groundhog movie. <laughs> yeah, yeah, let's see. I don't believe it. What is it, Doctor? You, congratulations, Fancy Pants. You lost 108 pounds. <laughs> so I prove you now for surgery. Oh, thank you, Doctor. Yeah, yeah, good job. See you in operating room. <laughs> so we got to do this surgery thing. I warn you, it's pretty gross, so I don't blame you if you want to look away and go get a snack. <laughs> what do you think you're doing? I think we found the enabler. Don't you realize you're killing her? Get out of here! Get! Get out! I swear these people will be the death of me. What is this? Oh! It is a giant tapeworm! I am in Batman!
And now a commercial brought to you by God. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Ever get caught in a conversation that makes you wish you would rather be dead? Is the stimulation of speaking with another of your species slowly siphoning your sanity? Have you been isolating yourself from society to prevent enduring the endless ebbing of your existential existence with everyone? Humans just not doing it for you? Well, God's got the thing for you. Ham radio! With our new patented technology here at God, the ham radio allows you to spark a conversation with, any with anything other than human. You can finally ask that tree how their day is and find out. You can tell that horse you came across, they're so cool. You can now ignore all the humans and still satisfy that innate need for connection with ham radio by becoming best friends with your microwave. No longer will you lead a life of lethargy and lackluster, blubbering lips, but one of titillating talks with anything tangible on this terrain. And, if you act now, we'll throw in our special edition Ham Radio Deluxe, which has the power to go beyond our earthly boundaries and contact life on Mars. Learn their secrets of the universe and gain unworldly wisdom through Gob's Ham Radio. Get your Ham Radio today! Praise God! Praise God! Praise God. Oh, praise God. Can you explain why you would use sarcasm given the circumstances? Well, I wanted to think that we was family-like. That we had a sense of humor. This is first contact, you idiot. They're not going to understand your sense of humor. Oh. What did it say? It said we're just in time for the end of the world. Are you sure the translator is working properly? Oh, yes. It's purring like a kitten. Okay, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's not a thing. Uh, so what do you think? I'm leaning toward the ultimate panic protocol. <laughs> well, the crew has spoken. Shut up. This is not a democracy. I am the captain and what I say goes. But you didn't say anything. <laughs> Are you sure you're the captain? <sighs> oh no! What are we going to do? Calm down, try them again, maybe we can clear this up. Okay, okay. Here, you talk this time. Good idea. <clears throat> um, hello, uh, this is the uh, humans. Uh, my buddy and I were talking and uh, we wanted to clear something up. Uh, we were thinking that maybe what he said before might have been uh, misunderstood. Oh, face it man, they're gonna probe us! <laughs> Please use Luke! You idiots! <laughs> gonna do that? Might as well as invite them now. Ooh, what a pleasant turn of events. We haven't had a good probing in a while. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I wasn't in the mood to conquer a world anyway. So, um, <clears throat> is a silicone-based lube okay? <laughs> oh, yeah, that would be great. I think that would not be great. I am not gonna get probed. <laughs> Damn it. Oh, Check this out. Okay. <clears throat> um, hello. Have y'all heard of phone probing? Phone <laughs> probing? No, we have not heard of this. Oh boy, you're gonna love it. Okay. Ask me what I'm wearing. Oh, move over. I thought I'd be good at this. <laughs> oh, baby. <laughs> Your eye is so big. How did you know we had an eye? Shush. Oh, what are you wearing? Oh, I'm wearing like a, uh, a space tunic. <laughs> and it goes up my butt. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, man, I'm just going with it. Mm, yeah, tell me more. Oh, you want to know more? Why don't you tell me what you're going to do with that throbbing tentacle? Ooh. It knows a lot about our anatomy. I'm impressed. <laughs> uh, I, I'm going to touch your eyeball with this throbbing tentacle. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you want to you wanna lick my eyeball? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I want to pour this lube all over your eyeball. 
Okay. Well, can I interject here? This is a really bad idea. Well, come on, man. It's just like eye drops. It ain't nothing. That's not true. Well, besides, it's, it's only phone probing anyway. Well. Human, we like this phone probing. <laughs> well, we like it too. Mm. So, you want to do this again sometime? You have a beautiful voice. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> um, the thing is, uh, I don't have a phone right now. This is my friend's phone. <clears throat> and, uh, and I'm moving far away from here. <laughs> oh, well, maybe you could call when you get a phone? Uh, sure. Okay. What's your number? Oh, we're from Mars. Uh, so, uh, we're from Mars, so you can just call Mars and ask for Captain Clatu, I'm the only one. Are you sure you're the captain? Shut up. <laughs> Clatu, uh, okay. Call ya. The human said it would call me. Yes, it's so hot. <laughs> so, who's up for a nap? I can use a drink. <laughs> I left the house again without my shoes, but uh, thank God I have spray-on shoes. <laughs> you know what? I I'm not going to do this. This is just fucking stupid. No. I, I, no! No! pop-up ads ruining your entertainment experience? <laughs> well, forget ham blockers, because Gob has brought back an all-time classic. The Hook. <laughs> no more annoying software updates when you've got this piece of hardware. Don't work around, reach around. <laughs> with The Hook from Gob. <laughs> Just a nibble. 
you know, if you hear so much about calories, why did you order so much food? It's my last meal! It's what I wanted! <laughs> Problem is, I can't eat what I want without gaining weight! Why does everything tasty have to be a crime? <laughs> Don't want to be remembered as the fat dead guy. That's how everybody remembers John Wayne Gacy. I will tell you that. <laughs> okay, I just feel like you're putting yourself in a lot of unnecessary stress. Well, I've got a big day tomorrow. Wouldn't you be stressed? Well, that's why you get your last meal, to relax and enjoy yourself. <sighs> True. Food has been one of my many coping mechanisms in the past. But I always overindulge. <laughs> but hey, I'm gonna be a conjugal coitus corpse soon anyways. I'll be losing lots of weight. You know what? I'm gonna eat this whole cake right now. Oh, by the way, do you think you can let me out in the yard tonight so I can run a few laps? No. Well, what about tomorrow? I know I've got my execution and all, but maybe we can sneak in an early morning workout. No, can't do that. Well, could you at least put an eating shawl over me so no one can see me spend my final moments as a disgusting pig? Yep. Yeah, yeah. Jeez! <laughs> ah. <laughs> oh. 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 You have a visitor. Why must you shroud your face? Do you feel shame? Can I help you with something? <laughs> help me find a man. Jeffrey is his name. I'm Jeffrey. Do my eyes lie to me? I am filled with bliss. Well, it is nice to meet you, too. Would it be too much to ask for a little kiss? You want me to kiss you? After what I did to Lacey Summers? Lacey Summers? Oh, she's the woman I murdered and skull fucked. <laughs> I mean, the woman I was accused of murdering and skull fucking. Oh, God, they got my lawyer's not here. <laughs> <laughs> was she an evil witch that can turn into a dragon? Mm -hmm. Yes. How did you know? Oh, I know you better than you know yourself, Mr. Bundy. <laughs> Please. Mr. Bundy's my father's name. <laughs> you can call me Jeffrey. Oh. What's your name? Isabel. Isabel. <laughs> so you really don't care that I'm a murderer? Does the heart truly care who is innocent or guilty? This love that wins in the end, not, not the boast of those no love. something very important to me, something very close to my heart. Of course, I'm referring to the gentrification of our fair city by yuppies and house slippers and the... Uh... What up? Nico, <laughs> what are you doing? Jared, I've been watching you and I know you don't want to follow God. I'm trying to save you guys. 
We don't need saving, Jared. Yeah, we've already been saved by God. Mm -hmm. Are you talking about that sponsorship money? Yeah. 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 Obviously. Yeah. You want to know why I'm doing this? I'll tell you why I'm doing this. Because you're all a bunch of traitors! This was supposed to be about making art, not selling shit nobody needs. Uh, no, I, I, I disagree. I think the ham radio would make a lot of money. Well, I like that one. Yeah, that was good. Good. Yeah. It's irrelevant. It may make... I, it's, when did it become about making money? Always. Yeah, since the beginning. Why would I be here? Okay, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Stop the fucking buffet! Caitlin! <laughs> okay. You don't want to do this, Caitlin. <laughs> How do you know what I want to do? Before Cobb saved us, I was selling my eggs to pay rent. Oh, and now you want to keep us from a big paycheck just because of art? It's fucking what? stupid. Art! Nobody gives a <laughs> shit about art, Jared! We just want to make him laugh. Doesn't anyone care about fighting tyranny? Uh, tyranny? Who's the one holding everyone hostage with a machine gun? Yes, <laughs> Shut the fuck up, Nathan. <laughs> Jared, Jared, drop the fucking weapon. Make me! Voice of God. <laughs> <laughs> My children, you have forgotten the stipulation thou shalt not kill those bound by a contract with God. <laughs> I didn't have time to read it. They were forcing me to sign. <laughs> they spelled my name wrong, too. <laughs> God knows, not hate, only love. I now command you. To forgive one another and make peace. You know, Gob's right. I should forgive you for holding us all at gunpoint for the sake of art. Yeah. <laughs> I guess I should forgive you all for selling out. I I knew you were all sellouts from the beginning. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. Yeah. Well, children, <gasps> you have all made great strides. Bob is very proud. Now why don't you make a circle? Hold hands. Fuck up. Stop doing anything. Stop doing anything. Stop doing anything. Stop doing anything. God loves us. We love God. They love you. You love them. Now make a big circle and hold. If you want, you can do a little dance. We love God. No, we don't. God loves us. Go bless his soul. <laughs> Get a shit. <laughs> Fuck you, <yeah>, your car. <laughs> Finally, a right sock! Of course, you go, guys. I'm contractually obligated to give a couple thank yous. Uh, first, I would just like to um, say that this is uh, um, something that's been in the works, conceived back in August. Um, I came on a little while ago, but um, it's just really something that we you know, put a lot of work into and just really, really appreciate you all being here. Um, so of course our first thanks is to the audience, because without an audience it's just another rehearsal and rehearsals are boring after a certain point. So thank you. Um, I'd like to also thank everybody who contributed to the Indiegogo campaign, which just really helped make it happen too. Uh, Milepost 5 for letting us perform a couple, in some names, there's people who are involved who, um, you know, aren't really on the stage. So I'd like to uh, say thanks to Josh Fitz, our technical director. He's, uh, he's, he's done a lot of other things, too. Um, he's been involved in this, in this project for quite a while, even longer than me. So, I mean, it's really, Josh has been a huge part. Uh, John Adams, our stagehand, for just coming in. Uh, uh, 
Yeah, Danny Carbo, our sound technician, who's also done a lot of things. Etc. Uh, Ian West, Ian Westmoreland, our, um, our 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 film director. He's filming tonight. He had a big part in our promotion as well. Um, uh, Saul Souza for coming in as the voice of God. Uh, <laughs> um, Lynette Caping for serving alcohol. Uh, Nathan Williams and Danny Diggs for uh, being at the door, letting you guys in, selling the session. Kevin Fisk for uh, for lending us the sound equipment and making make that thing possible. Yeah. Uh, I'd like to thank uh, Rob Piggott, Danny Diggs, and Aaron McCann for coming to rehearsal last week and just really um, giving us some really good feedback and, and helping us just really pump the show into the gear it needs to be for tonight. I hope you guys enjoyed it and they really helped us a lot with that. Um, Nicolette's mom, Nancy, Regina, uh, for coming up with the idea of the down lefts, which I think, hope you agree, really just kind of made the show flow and tie it all together. And uh, did I miss anybody? No, last but not least, uh, I think this is the last time I'm contractually obligated to do it, but I have to thank God. No! Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Uh, sorry, uh, we'll figure out someone to replace Nathan next time, but uh, why don't you guys all come up and uh, get a value on it? Why not? Okay.